on the menu today, we're gonna show you why laughter is the best medicine. Yvonne Conti is a humorist. She calls herself a motivational humorist. She's gonna make us laugh in a humorous way. Yeah, and that, I guess that makes sense. Also, we're gonna show you some stuff. Can you grill that? Well, believe it or not, you can, and we're gonna show you how, and we'll do it in just a few moments. Well, one of the keys to good health is to eat right, exercise, and to <laughs> laugh. According to medical reports, laughing at least 15 seconds every day adds two days to your lifespan and boosts your immune system. Well, Yvonne Conti should live a long time because she's a motivational humorist who loves to laugh and you love to make people laugh. Yvonne, Absolutely. welcome to the program. Thank you so much. Now, you speak all over the country and you said you, you chose humor as the way that you were going to make your mark in the speaking world. Yes, I did because I, growing up, that's all we did was laugh in our house, laugh and eat. And so that <laughs> works well for your this, show. Well, I was going to say, <laughs> laugh and eat, we laugh can do and that. Eat, I know. Um, but I do, I did a lot of research about laughter and humor, and I just think if people would lighten up a little bit and look at life differently, it's amazing how easy life is. The best way to connect with somebody is through laughter. You know, it's funny, because I'm sure we don't think about how often we go through the day without really getting a good laugh. And we're talking about chuckle. a good laugh, 15 seconds. I mean, it's a long time yeah. when you think about yeah. it. Well, laughter, when you can laugh with somebody, it's the, it's the best way to get close to somebody without touching them. Okay. Because it, think about it, you've got four people in line at the motor vehicle bureau. You're a man, you're a man, you know, everybody's miserable, <laughs> right? And some kid does something funny, and you all laugh, and you kind of look at each other, you make eye contact, you laugh. Now, you're kind of friends in the aisle. You know, you might say something else to someone. That laughter took four strangers, turned them into, you know, sort of friends for a moment. Well, a lot of this laughter comes out of your own family tradition, and we're going to share Absolutely. a family recipe after we tell you what's cooking. Okay. Make it fun. It's pasta jolt. Perfect. Did I say that right? Pasta jolt. Pasta jolt. We call them pasties. Pasties. pasties yes. All right, what's in it? We're going to tell you, first of all, here's the cream. It's a half a cup of sugar, three tablespoons of cornstarch, two egg yolks, two cups of milk, a pinch of salt, a quarter teaspoon of vanilla. Then we're going to have a dot of butter. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. A lemon rind, and we're going to blend until thick. That's the cream for our pasta. Exactly. Choke, for our pasta, yeah. right? Pasta, and yeah. we've got a crust. We'll show you what's in that in a little bit. All right, what so are we going to do first? You're going to start. I'm, I'm going to let you make this. Let I'm going to do it. I hope this is turned up. Yep. Yeah. Um, the first thing you want to do is put in your milk. Okay. And, um, oh, uh, that's lovely. There we go. <laughs> and I'll start stirring, and you'll just start adding. So now put your sugar in. This is sugar, yeah. okay. You want to keep stirring so you don't, you know, scorch the bottom. Okay. And you can toss your egg yolks in there. This is egg yolks. Egg yolk, two egg yolks, and I'll just scrape out most of them because that's good stuff. That's good stuff. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Now, this and recipe is from your family. My Aunt Vincenza. Aunt Vincenza, she's to give me this recipe. She don't give me no time. She says to put a handful of this, a little bit of that. You know, shove some uh, butter, make it nice. <laughs> <laughs> make a well in the flour, shove that in. You know, that's how she speaks. I said, Benny and Jenny, we got to count how much. That's all right. You're going to know. And it's so like a love. When you feel it's right, you know it's a good. Uh, so you have to create. I mean, <laughs> you really have to stop. Like, well, maybe it's this, maybe it's that. Because a lot of us cook like, like my right. mother cooks just like yours. Oh, yeah. And I have to, Mom, what do you put in it? Well, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. All right. And put the butter. All right, this put is the, the dot. The put the butter. That Ladies and gentlemen, your dot. That's much too much of the dot. This is too much of the dot. This this is too much much dot. So we're going to go like this. <laughs> Half of the dot. Half a dot. Okay, that's okay there you, a, go. you don't want to be eating all that grease. <laughs> okay, then uh, we got our milk, a pinch of salt. Here's the pinch. That's a little too much. Can too. I, oh, I'm going to do the pinch. pinch. Just the pinch. pinch. That's a beautiful, nice. A little bit more? A little pinch? Yeah, pinch. that's eh, good. A little bit, okay. Um, I'm wondering what that is. I can't remember. That's not anything. Oh, that's the lemon rind. Okay. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> what is that? It's, it looks like mustard. I don't think we want mustard in our custard, but you never know. Throw that in. Cooking at your house must be a riot. <laughs> Well, it's messy. We get it all over the kitchen because everybody's got their hands in it. Do you do? Do you still do the traditional dinners and things like that? You no, know, we do, and we love it. We love. Do you do it on Sundays, a particular day, or as often as you it's can? It's very hard to get everybody together, but right. we do try to get together holidays, birthdays, and Sundays. Okay. You know, we have. So, that, yeah, that's a. Uh, now, now you all have these uh, clown noses on. Huh? We do, and. <laughs> The clown noses we love because it, every time we have a holiday, now that was Christmas, that picture, that's my family, aren't they lovely? Um, we try to use the, um, the 
either a clown nose or, or some kind of uh, throw the rest of this stuff in here because we, we need to make that. No, that's cornstarch. But oh. throw it in. Throw it in. Oh, oh, you want, oh, you want me to? Why, well, yeah. certainly, darling. Throw that in there. Make it nice. Run it. Oh, go. good. Okay. Let's go thicken that right up. Now okay. give me the uh, lemon rime. The lemon rime. Okay. Toss that in. Let's get some more of that because yeah. that's going to make it wonderful. Yeah. And um, get a teaspoon of vanilla. A teaspoon of vanilla. Yeah, I'm looking. I don't think we've we've lost anything else. We got the salt, the milk, the yolk, the blah blah blah. Okay. Teaspoon. Look at that. Oh, lovely. If now, you see, want. See, if I was making this, I would just. Now look, you little... stir that up. Okay. And if you're going to be awfully want me to work? high, we need to turn this down just a little just bit. A little bit. Oh, I don't okay. know how to do this. Low. Oh, we like low. Okay. That's good. I hope I do. Oh, my God. I hope I didn't ruin it. No, that's okay. Now it's you okay. do this. You uh, stir it. And don't let it burn. If it's if it looks like it's burning, lift I, it I'm up. I'm gonna keep stirring. And as you stir, and it's gonna start to thick. I'm gonna move over here and start making okay, our crust. Okay, talk to okay? me. Go, go ahead. And All I'm right. gonna tell you. I gotta tell you. We're talking about humor and laughter, right? Right. right. Okay. First You're of making all, a dough for the crust. I'm gonna make the crust. Okay. Yes. Okay. Um, now the recipe says four cups. Right. The thing is, just put some in there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like then and leave. I think, see, I love this yeah, way of cooking. Because just, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, it's now, gonna work out. It's gonna work out. Yeah. Now you put your um, Crisco. Now I know you're not supposed to name brands, but you know if you don't use Crisco, it's not gonna taste the same. And I have no stock in the company, <laughs> but I have tried other brands and it, it's, it just doesn't work for me. Yeah, yeah. So there you go. That's your baker's secret. Yeah. Vegetable now, shortening of your choice, folks. Whatever. This is called a pastry I think pastry something, knife, something like that. Okay. But this is what is going to make your, you, you press it in like this. Oh, so you're not Can people see this or what? Yeah, okay. Uh, you, you, also, gotta, see, I have a lovely ring. I, I, anyway. That's um, what you want them to see. Yeah, I want them to see my lovely <laughs> ring. <laughs> Tell me. So, so you, you do this. And you, you can, you, you, so what is, isn't it, is that, is this not, is, this is cutting, what do you call that? you're cutting, cutting in, in your Crisco. How about with that? Your, uh, with your um, flour. Right. And so, so it, it kind of looks like big peas in there. You okay. see how that looks? Okay. Kind of, you're just making sure it's all together like this. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a big wad of it. Yeah. And, um, you know, baking is kind of like humor in a lot of ways. Right. Because you kind of look and see how something is, mm -hmm. and you, you you might look at it from a lot of different, uh, well, like, you, some you, people say, well, as a matter of fact, somebody said to me, you're making pasta trots on the air? That's going to be so hard. Here's your sugar. Thank shove you. it in. Yeah, shove it in. Shove it in. Yeah. I don't know what this is. I forgot. Well, What's this? Well, it's in the recipe. They'll yeah. get it. Yeah. <laughs> baking powder. We hope it is. It's baking powder. And you put your milk in. You put your vanilla in. You take your eggs. You put your eggs. Whole eggs here. Oh, two whole eggs. Yeah. Yes. Bada boom, bada boom. Okay. And then you mix it up. Okay. Now, well, I noticed no no blender here. No, yeah. come on. You want to do it with your hands. Actually, if I was home, I'd be putting my hands in this, which I may may, may do anyway. And you can. We got something to wipe them off But, but what I was saying is... You feel it. Cause, you cause feel it. Because you feel that, it. when you put your hands in it, isn't that yeah. like the love that's going yeah. into the now, making Yeah. Now, see, I'm looking at this, and I'm saying, oh, it's this This needs a little little more flour, but that's why you, you hold it out. All you, right, so you, can I just help you out here? Well, no, because I'm going to need that to roll out, so oh, just okay. wait one second. Okay. But... But it's all about perspective. You, yeah, you're making a dough. About, yeah, you told, you told me that you learned something yesterday. Yes. What did you learn? I went, I had a million um, uh, appointments yesterday, uh -huh. and I lost my date book. Uh-oh. A little green date book with everything, my whole life in the book, right? Uh-huh, uh-huh. And so, of course, right away, I was upset, and I said, oh, my God, what am I going to do? My whole life is in that book. And my daughter said, ma, all right, calm down. Your right. whole life is not in that book. Just to tell you, this is what it's going to look like here. Okay, okay. okay. And then once you get it like this, then you make it into a little ball like this with your hands. Right. And you take a little bit of that extra flour and you start to roll it out. Okay. So here I am at home with this book. Yeah. I don't have my book. It's got everything in it. So I'm and, a you, nervous and, and life is, is happening right before your eyes. You think you're going to die because you don't have the date book. Right. So what I did was I sat down after I talked to my daughter. Now, see, you're rolling this out and you keep going like this until you get it nice, about a, about a, a quart, an eighth of an inch, you know, in thick. Okay. And so I, I sat down with a cup of coffee and I said, oh, I can have, I can make a choice here. I yeah. can be miserable all day about right. this, losing this thing. Right. Or I can try to figure it out, you know. I, I'm talking and doing two things. That's good. This, I got this at can Walmart with soda in. It's the perfect size to make my circle. <laughs> So I don't let anybody drink out of this at my house. That's my, <laughs> my thing. So, uh, you know, find what one works for you. But now you take your little piece like this and you just go like you do with a pizza okay. to kind of make it a little bit bigger And you got your tart 
Here's things. your tart thing. Oh, we don't I call it a tart thing. You should line it with Crisco so it doesn't stick. I forgot that part. Yeah. Oh, hey, give me that Crisco dish. Hey. You they wanted it? the Crisco was in. You see, just like it. That's flour, sweetheart. Oh. <laughs> that's all right. We don't need it. Where was it? I don't know. But then look, you're putting this in the here. Hey, do you want to you want you want to use some butter? No, wait. no, okay. Uh, you you put. Oh, this here in it is. Pot like this is this. your Crisco dish. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you use it all. You put it in like this. Okay. And you fit it in here. Now, how's your pudding coming? It's coming. Not pudding yet, is it? No. Maybe we should turn it up a little bit. Yeah. Oh, good. That gives me time to talk because yeah. we have to wait for that pudding. All right. So here. wait. Well, uh, so I need to keep stirring. You better keep stirring. Okay. All right. And maybe we turn up the heat. Turn up the heat, baby. Okay. Bam. On fire. I know. We make it funky We're on making, our show. Oh yeah. See, that's what we do. So, so I'm I'm sitting there and I'm saying. What is the worst that could happen right. if somebody finds that date book? Well, right. it's got all my phone numbers in it. Okay. So I'm thinking, where did you lose it? I lost it downtown. I'm thinking some derelict is going to pick up that book and make obscene phone calls to everybody in that book. So I'm thinking, oh, dear, whose number's in that book? My pastor. My mother. And what is my mother going to say when she gets an obscene phone call and the guy says, and that's a little message from Yvonne Conti, she's going to say, I never liked you, friend, Yvonne. <laughs> you know, so I laughed about it. What else can you do? You, you have to laugh about you gotta it. Laugh. You say that uh, part of laughter is, is is looking at you. You wrote a book, right? Five of them. Five of them. The last one is called Women of Faith. Oh, the last one is Remarkable Women w of Faith. Yes. And I co-authored that with Ann Jillian and Jennifer O'Neill. Ann Jillian. Yeah. Breast cancer was yes, it? Yes, 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 yes. And she she talks a lot about um, you know how she got through that. Mm -hmm. And of course, she's very Christian and you know very faithful girl. Right, right. And. Um, it's remarkable how there's 10 women in the book mm -hmm. and we all talk about how we've used our faith to get through difficult situations okay. and how we look at life differently because of that. And so it's a remarkable book. You, you said that uh, and, and one of the things that you say uh, in your life is that family, you want me to keep stirring. Don't you stop, know, don't you. talk and Come stir. Come on, all can't right. you do two things I, at once? Yes, I can, I always okay. do. All right, so here's the deal. You said that uh, you use humor in your family mm -hmm. uh, to look at the way, uh, as a way to get through the only issues that you face in your own life. How did you do that? By changing your perception. By looking at things, you know, if we could think like little kids think. Yeah. Okay. My sister and her husband are sitting at the tape. Well, like, there's my lease. My sister and her husband sitting down talking, and my husband's, my sister's husband says, "Hey, what's Mary's last? It's what's getting Mary's in. husband's name? Well, that's looking good. A little uh, bit more. Here it is. Here we what's go. What's Mary's husband's name? And my sister says, uh, "It's Bill." All of a sudden, her granddaughter goes, "Mary has a husband?" And my sister says, "Yeah, she's got a husband. Why? And a little lamb." <laughs> Mary's got a husband and a little lamb. I cracked up. Oh, look at that. That's this is beautiful. Ready. This is ready. Oh, my God. All right, we got to get in there. We got to get in there. Now, home. if you were at home, you'd let it cool a little bit. Right. Just we're for, not at home. Just for the heck of it. All right. But we're not at home. So you take the pudding. Okay. Nice and beautiful. You put it right in your dough. Beautiful. Oh, and you isn't bake it for how lovely? long? Well, you don't bake it. You got to put the top on first. Bada bing, bada bong. There's your top. Yvonne. Put it right over there. You go like this. Are we All right, done? This looks so pretty. Can I taste? Yes. Yes. This is, yes. And this. Oh, you and you go and you like bake. This. And this is it. That's it, baby. You don't have to. You don't have to cook I'm it all. I'm gonna take a chocolate one. If you want chocolate, eliminate Vanilla. the lemon and put the chocolate in. Bonus right. salute. Bonus salute. Mm. Yvonne Conti. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Oh my God, it's wonderful. <laughs> oh. Oh, my father's in heaven, praising God for these. Mm. These are delicious. Aren't they wonderful? These are so good, Yvonne. Mm. You're so awesome. I'm leaving these here for the rest of the crew. Where's your clown nose? You always have what to... clown nose? Where's it's your clown nose? Right here. That's part of the thing. There you go. Humor, make people laugh, Yvonne Conti. Thank you. You're this the woman. This has been fun. I love it. Come back again, will, okay. won't you? Okay. This is not an ethnic um, nose. It's not ethnic. It doesn't no. work it fit for on black <laughs> folk. Doesn't it fits work. on us Italian people. Doesn't Our hooks work. are beautiful for it. <laughs> thanks, thanks, Yvonne. Visit our website at WCNY.org for the complete recipe instructions. And just ahead, from pizza to pastries, we'll show you how to grill just about anything. You're watching Food for Thought.